another day, another review. Hey everyone, today I have a great review for you. I'm so excited I haven't even really opened the package yet. Now this is a great pair of pants and there was a little bit of an issue with me ordering this. You see, these pants originally I tried to order from a site called Uniden. You know, it's a big techwear site, it has you know, a big following on Instagram and all over YouTube. And I was like, you know what, I want to go and get the 0042 Steven Cargos. So I tried. I went on Uniden.com and it said, oh, there's a pre-order for them. So I did this all the way back in like September. The pre-order was supposed to ship out in October or November, supposedly. And I waited and I waited and I waited. Now the first pre-order date came by and nothing. So I emailed them and they said, sorry, there's been a supply issue over in China due to the no COVID policy. We're going to have to, you know, push it back again. So I said, okay, I really want these pants. I'll wait. Waited another month, so November or December, or November, it was November the second time. Again, they said, you know what, sorry, it's going to be early December. Once again, early December comes, same old, same old. But by the time it hit December 31st, their very last day, they said it was going to ship out. You know, I've already been waiting two, three months. They just stopped contacting me. I sent them emails like, hey guys, what's up? Where's it going? It's almost three months. They just ignored me, you know what? So very, very poor customer service. So I called my bank, I did a chargeback, and I went to the source. And the source, you can see by the title, it's Remedy Illusion, and it's their 0042 functional, you know, waterproof pants. The other sites, they call them the Steven Cargos, but these are straight from the source, the 0042 functional waterproof pants. Now, I'm so excited I haven't even opened it. You know what? I just got the package here. On the outer, there was another outer package that had my address and everything on it, but you know, I don't want to show that to the camera. Um, the one cool thing about this is these products, this techwear product, it comes from Guangzhou, China. And that's actually where I lived a few years back and where I will be moving back to in a couple more years once I finish up a bachelor's degree. So anyways, let's get into this. So you got that SF Chinese shipping package right there. Some people go, oh, China, it's going to be bad quality for that. No, man, China makes a lot of very, very good manufactured things nowadays. It's not like the early 90s. The first thing you do as I rip open this package, you got another bag inside of a bag. Oh, and this is the Renegade Illusion bag. That is pretty cool. So let's have a look. You know, let's try to get some light in here so I can have you focus more on it. Let's see. Can you guys read that? I hope so. It says concept right there. And then something else at the bottom, the Renity Illusion. Okay, so now let's I guess jump into the package. Um it's sealed at the top, but it does have that oh there's another thing right on the back. There's one more lock. So let's jump into this one. We're going to open it up here. It's actually a little tricky to open up. I might need to go and get scissors. Oh wait, no. There we go. Just need to spread up like that and pop it open. There we go. So should we go inside? I like that mailer. It's sort of a poly mailer. It's kind of like a, a flashy. Alright, let's move back over here. Okay, so right off the bat, there we got the pants. Now I went for a size medium. I was a little concerned because I'm in between a medium and a large for a lot of things. Um, I sent a few comments off to them and in broken English they sent back, you know what, go for the medium. I trust them. I trust them. I'm six foot. I fluctuate right now between 155, 170 pounds. It, it's a tough one. I'm trying to put on the weight, but who knows. Okay, so it's tagging once again. Let's bring the tag nice and close. It's all in Chinese. Then you have, I don't know what this is. Looks like something you, I don't know, fold something through. It's hard having a hard time focusing, but, you know, you kind of get the point. And now let's get into the pants. Yeah, so, at the front of the pants, you have kind of this, uh, this zipper thing going on here. That's uh, how you tighten the pants. Not zipper. Nice pull tab, and then you squish the sides there to loosen it up. So you probably don't need a belt, so maybe the large would have been good, but I hope the medium fits. Um, at the crotch you also have a zipper. 
And the main thing, I love the straps on the side of this pants. <laughs> Holding it up to the camera doesn't really do it justice. We're going to have to definitely get the on body experience to see how they look. Straps out. You got nice double cargo pocket on the right leg. Let's see, there's two pockets on the right, and on the left, you have one solid big pocket. Now, let's say if you really want to see better pictures other than me holding in hand, go to the website, you know, Renny Delusion. You need the spelling one more time. It's in the title, but it's also right there. Go to that website, have a look. They have a lot of different pants. These are the ones I see the most reviews on, I think are nicest. It's the bottom, it has a zipper, so you can tighten the leg or loosen the leg, depending on what footwear you want to wear. So if you want to go with more of like a tactical boot, I guess you can do more boot cut, more of a sneaker, you can do that. I will show you wearing both of them. Um, it's a little odd that it has, this is the belt, but you also have belt loops. I mean, I guess you could put another belt uh, on top of it, or maybe you can put some carabiners, you know, to hang things off of. You know, everything else a little extra, you know, you can find the use for it. Let's see if I'm missing anything else. Oh, so there's a little bit of a hidden back pocket on both sides. So, a lot of storage space. You got back pockets, one big side pocket. The side pocket on the left leg, the solid one, flips up so that you can see it. There's a big pocket here, but it also has that little zipper to put stuff here. This is, I wish I had like a mannequin to put this on to show you and unzip things. It would be a lot better. So once again, let's get the button. And the material is a little stiff, not as easiest for me to fold around, but that's because this is waterproof material. I'll have to test it to see how waterproof, but I mean, it, it feels more than water repellent. It does feel waterproof, like Gore-Tex, you know? So that, that, and that flips up. And that is where the pocket is, and that's where you can see a little bit of branding right there. So that would be the front. Okay, so like I said, double pockets on the right side, single pocket on the left. Now these straps here are for you to be able to pull and tighten the pants. Um, I We'll have to figure that out later, or you know, check out other videos online. See how the Stephen Carr goes around to the illusion and said these really are. But that's me having them in hand. Let me go throw them on and let's see how they actually look on the body. All right, first thing I'm trying them with are my Oakley Coyote boots. You can go check those out. I did a review of them. Right now I have the boot cut going on with the zipper up. squat down and then I can change the zipper to make it more tight first I gotta find it obviously oh it's here on this side that's the thing with new pants you never know exactly where everything is and personally I like my stuff to look skinny fit slim fit so I'm probably gonna wear it with the zipper tighter like this always uh, what do you guys think zipper up or zipper down when it comes to combat boots I really like these. I think they go great with combat boots. What do you guys think? Is this a style? Is this a fit? I don't know. Let's get to the next pair. Next pair of shoes. I'm not going to do the boot cut because it's a low cut sneaker. Acronym uh, Blazers. I think they go nicely with these pants as well. You know, that techwear type of look. What do you guys think? Does it suit these pants well? I think it suits the pants well. The last shoe I have to show you is the Solomons. Now all these shoes, I have done reviews on, so go back to the channel, check them out. Very technical shoe, I like how it fits. And I think it also goes decently with these pants. Now one last look, since I'm here and the pants are on my body, we got that zipper here on the side. Not that big, but still fits a fist. That pops up and you have the bigger pocket here to drop things in. You go to the back, you have two pockets along the side there. Go to this side, you have the double pockets. 
And they are decently big as well. They expand outwards. You have the straps, really not that functional, but I love the way they look. You also have pockets up at the top. And as for fit, I'm about a 33 waist right now. Um, I have a tiny bit more space, so I am worried if I do put on more weight, this might not fit. I'm at the last zip on this belt buckle. I really don't need to do it up, but I can also do it a little bit. So this probably is the perfect size for me. We'll see in about a half a year or so when I put on some more weight if this actually is the perfect fit. But that's it for the fit for now, guys. That, I think it's good. All right, so let's get into more details. That was the on-body look. Did you like it? I, I'm really impressed. I love them, especially with the tactical boots. Now, price-wise, I spent 177 Canadian dollars, taxes, shipped, all that included. And, you know, I think it's reasonable. There's a lot of other pants I've spent around that, if not more, and they're just like squatting pants or material pants where this, after wearing it, I can tell it is waterproof. Um, with that being said, 15 degrees Celsius is probably the warmest you're going to want to wear these in because they do not breathe that well. Good to keep you warm, good to keep you dry, especially maybe a rainstorm or something like that. Snow here in the Greater Toronto area. But you want to look fashionable when it gets warm out? I don't think so. But I mean when it gets warm, I switch to shorts anyways. So, let me know if you guys like this. It has that tech wear look, tech wear feel, and that's what it's made for. Love the fact that it comes from the city of Guangzhou in China, where I'll be heading back to and possibly coming out with my own brand of stuff like this. Um, and yeah, go to Renity Illusion, support them. Don't go to Uniden, horrible customer service. Like, comment, subscribe, and tell me any issues you've had below. Do you like the tech wear type stuff? Do you want to see me review anything else next? Till then, next time, take it easy. Okay, so we're in a little bit of a situation here now. You see, um, you're probably wondering why I'm in a different shirt than I was two seconds ago, and that's because it is now February, right? Um, so like I said, once December hit, Uni didn't just stop having customer service with me. They were not replying to any questions I had. They just ghosted me. But today, a package arrived, and I got the both pair of pants that I ordered. Now this is very odd because, you know, I did a chargeback in January and then they shipped these out after I already did the chargeback. So I don't know you guys over at Uniden if this is a hey sorry for you know all the issues you went through, here's a pair on us or something, or if your business is just, you know, you're not on top of things and you sent this after I've already received my money back. Um, so. I don't know, the, the quality of the stuff they sell on the site is great, just the customer service could be a, a lot better. So hey, I, I don't know what my opinion is on that anymore, but the product by itself, by the brand Rended Illusion, definitely the product is quality. So anyways, I guess that's a small update on my situation. Um, comment below if you guys have had any situations like this in the past. Uh, until next time, take it easy.